Why? Why, Avalanche? Why are you up? Why are you 77 bucks? 8.51% in 24 hours, man. Look, I, this is one I tried not to like. We're going to hop right into it. So <laughs> these are all the people building on Avalanche. And Avalanche is in the news. And the reason why is these three things right here. So we're going to jump right into what's possible with Avalanche. It is an open programmable smart contract platform for the apps. But you probably already knew that. So we're going to get into the point. This is the roadmap. If you're looking to invest into any cryptocurrency, the safest thing to do is to check to see where they're trying to go. Because where they're trying to go is where your money will end up at. And if they're not trying to go anywhere, then your money won't go anywhere. So they have the 2021 to the 2022 roadmaps, or you can check it out. It stops at December. So next, we're going to talk about the wallet on Avalanche. Avalanche wallet is simple, secure, non-custodial wallet for storing Avalanche assets. Non-custodial makes it where it's way safer. And what happened on Polygon will not happen to your cryptocurrency, Lord willing. Okay. All right. So now, it says access your existing Avalanche wallet right here, or you can create a new Avalanche wallet over here. All right, so you can follow the instructions. It's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Now let's get over here. So this is what you can do. You can build on Avalanche. All right, so start building on Avalanche. What can you build? Launch your Ethereum D app. You can build your own D app over here. Run a validator, mint a token integrate and exchange developer documentation. So the thing that I like about this is the fact that some of these cryptocurrencies such as Avalanche doesn't just turn you into a wage slave or just an investor. They try to get you to build as well. That's perfect. I love that. So moving on, we're going to check out the ecosystem of Avalanche. This is the ecosystem of Avalanche as DeFi, digital securities, ecosystem, uh, exchange, explore, blah, 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 stablecoin, play to earn payments. Payments is my favorite part. So AVE, I think that's how you pronounce it, open source and non-custodial liquidity protocol for earning interest and deposits and borrowing assets. The Explorer, an analytics tool that enables people to search the Avalanche blockchain. All right, Avalanche, a launch pad for new and innovative projects to prepare for launch with fair and broad distribution. So guess what? This is a theme park product. You know what a theme park product is, right? I don't know, I probably coined it. A theme park product is where you enter into one funnel and then when you get in there, there's a million things that you can make money with or you can buy from them. So you can use the MetaMask, NF Trade, Paraswap, SushiSwap, Tops NFTs, Penguin Finance. They have their hand in all of these. Man, this is crazy, right? Okay, moving on, boom. Avalanche, my favorite part is usage cases, because if you don't have any use cases to me, if you're just just a platform cryptocurrency, you're useless. If you don't have use cases, you're useless. Okay, decentralized finance. DeFi is rapidly growing beyond the limits of one chain. Avalanche is fully compatible with Ethereum assets, apps, and tooling with faster speeds, higher throughput, and lower fees. Asset assurance. Okay. Automated market makers, borrowing and lending, my favorite part, decentralized exchanges, derivatives, insurance, peer-to-peer -peer payments, predictive market stable coins. Well, now watch this one. Institutions, enterprises, and governments. Avalanche is the best verifiable. Now this is why people think the mob is behind Avalanche. Right here, institutions, enterprises, and governments. It's a big guys in this, okay? Avalanche is the best verifiable platform for institutions, enterprises, and governments, launch assets, build applications, and create subnets with complete control over your implementation with compliance, data security, and other rule sets built into the foundation. So like I said, you can just read this. I love the fact that it gives you control over intellectual property, lending, and real estate. That's cool as well. Now. Some of you guys' favorite part will be this right here. So the non-fungible tokens, NFTs, mint your own NFTs in seconds for less, for fees less than a cent. Digitally prove ownership and streamline value flow. Create and share art collectibles and more with all the benefits and none of the downsides. So there's some things you can do with this. There's some things you can do with this. All right, so art certification licenses, uh, you, that could be your marriage license, you know what I'm saying? Uh, collectibles, credentials, in-game items, and music. Now, uh, you saw Tory Lanez, he turned his album into an NFT. And these are just some of the uh, examples right here done with that.
All right, so now, last but not least, you can join the Discord. This is how you would join the Discord for uh, Avalanche right here. You would just put in your username, click on the continue button and follow the instructions. And there you go. You are a part of the Avalanche community. Now, whether or not you should invest in this, if you're into this type of token and their movement and you read the roadmap in a white paper, look, I always tell people to wait to see if something is a good investment based off of their roadmap and their white paper implementation. If they're holding on to what they're saying, if the users are true, <clears throat> if they're exposing themselves and they're not just making stuff up, then cool, like the founders right here and everything. All right, if they're actually doing what their white paper and roadmap says, then it could be a decent crypto to invest in. Like I said, there's gonna be a lot of big whales behind this one, given this government ties and everything. So uh, you, you might make a lot of money in this one in the long term. All right, love you guys.